Hello friends, today I want to talk a little bit about a product we now have available for everyone, faculty, staff, everyone across the board. We now have licenses for Cisco WebEx across the board for everyone to use. WebEx um, is this really cool tool that allows us to do a, a lot of collaboration. And I want to tell you just a little bit about it right quick before we start diving into the details of what WebEx is, can do. So WebEx is essentially a video conferencing application. And that means by video, by audio, uh, multiple users can join in. We can share screens, files, all that kind of stuff. Um, very similar to uh, Skype, or Zoom, uh, Google Meet, anything like that. Um, and the benefit is because we all have licenses to it. We can all get in. We can create any content that we want to. It's all cloud-based, so it's accessible and usable from anywhere that we have internet access at. So what can WebEx do? Um, from a presentation perspective, um, you can hold scheduled or open video meetings uh, or audio calls. You can share your screen. You can use a digital whiteboard to draw, share your ideas. You can record any session for those that can't either can't attend or if you want them to be able to go back to it later. If you want to essentially use this as notes for students, um, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can also have chat and Q&A going on. So while you're talking, you can be presenting. Um, and you can have your participants uh, throwing out some ideas there, asking questions so that when you stop talking, you can come over, see what questions they have, and then really engage on that front. That way everybody's not talking all at the same time over audio, but you can still get that engagement and you can still work collaboratively, collaboratively with others. So how can participants join? Um, it's really simple. Once you set up a WebEx meeting, it, everyone's going to get a link. Um, and then they're also going to uh, get a couple different connection options in that link. So um, they can join from any browser. So Windows, Mac, a tablet, doesn't matter what you have, you can access it. Uh, if you want, you can download the app from a uh, Chromebook, from an iPad, any iOS, Android device, they all have apps. Um, you can also, if you don't have access to a device, uh, you can call in from a phone. You won't be able to see the screen shares and that kind of thing, but you can still participate in the conversation. So if you're using this with students that don't have internet access at home, but at least have a phone, even if it's a landline phone, they can still participate, they can listen in, and when they do have internet, internet access, they can go get the full recording that you have or any files that you want to share with them, things like that, so they can take it home and work on it from there. Um, I do want to point out one thing with the, the recording of sessions. If you're going to have um, participants join in with their webcams or their microphones and they're joining um, by audio or video, um, not just watching, but if they're actually participating by audio or video, please let them know if you're going to be recording the session. Let them know at the beginning of the session. It's only fair to let people know that you're recording them and that content could be shared for later use. So that's really what WebEx is in a nutshell. Um, I'm going to dive into a little bit more of what are some of the things that you can accomplish with it, how you can use it, um, and just some little details, tips and tricks that I think will be helpful as you're trying to use WebEx for your first time.